Dub Seed here, and today we're back with another Survival Saturday. And today, I'm going to be trying some stuff from Minotaur Training Company. Not their rations, but their survival gear. If you didn't know they had survival gear, they sure do. They got a bunch of it on the website. You need to check it out. Also got some hand sanitizer. Yeah, spices on there. All kinds of cool stuff. But for the survival stuff, I want to check out some fire tender from Minotaur Training Company. I got this case of Ring of Fire, which is a 550 cord. Uh, 25 foot of it. 550 cord is basically paracord with fire starter inside it. How cool is that? Then it also comes with a, another tender in there with a ferro rod and I got the tactical spork. Tactical spork is actually tied around my neck with the 550 cord. So not only do I have paracord on my neck, I got fire starter on my neck. I got everything ready to go and I don't lose my tactical spork. So I'm really excited to review this stuff. So let's get started. All right, so I'm building the base up for the fire. So I want to show off some of the features of the tactical spork. So we've got a tactical spork. We have the uh, spork end, very durable. It's got the little prongs at the very end. It's wrapped with 550 paracord right now. Uh, I'll take it off. I'll show you the holes. You can actually tie it to a stick and use it as a spear. And then, like I said, the paracord doubles as a nice thumb rest right now. And I just take the sheath off. I want to make some wood chip for the fire. You just take this knife. It's pretty sharp. I mean, obviously, you can make it sharper if you want. Um, but just shaves that wood off no problem. Has a bottle opener at the top also. And like I said, there's just a lot of great features. And uh, really enjoy this knife. And when you're done, you can just put the sheath back on. Kind of guard that and put it around your neck or in your pocket. But overall, really awesome. Especially have out here for survival. It also has the whistle end, which I'll use now. Works good. So I'll go ahead and... Uh, Keep prepping this fire and we'll get uh, some fires going first thing we'll do is get out this uh, ring of fire i did already open it so i could get the 550 paracord out and put it on the um the 550 fire cord and put it on the spork but it comes with 25 foot i chose coyote brown there are other colors available i believe uh, it is waterproof comes with the live fire uh, instant emergency fire starter and then the ferro rod and the striker so really cool and now on the tactical squirk, I actually made it longer purposely so I could cut some off. But you obviously, you know, I have extra um, 550 fire cord here. You can actually just cut it off, and I'll show you why. So it cut right through, and then you see that red inside the cord? That is the fire starter. So you actually pull that out, get that going. You can actually pull it out, and this is what you're going to want to use for your fire starter, which is this red cord. And you know, I'll show you how to rough it up. So what I've done, and it works for me, there might be other options, is you wanna take the red fire cord that's inside the 550 fire cord, pull it on a harder surface, and I'm using the striker to rough this up because you wanna make it fuzzy. The little fuzzies is what actually catches the spark. So that fuzz right there should be really good, but you wanna just rough it up and I'm not sure exactly how much you use. It's the first time I've used this, so bear with me. Uh, but still excited to try it out as, you know, learning how to do it. So as I wrap this up, you get a nice fuzzy edge, and we can throw that in the bottom of your fire, and we can ignite it. Now we have the 550 fire cord uh, red portion all kind of roughed up in the bottom of the fire. We're going to use the ferro rod and throw, see if we can throw some sparks at it, see if we can get a fire. Just like that. So the fire rod uh, works really good. Um, ignited right away. 550 fire cord works out really well. I reset the fire and just kind of put it out and then I want to try the fire tender now from Minotaur Training Company. This comes in a 10 and you can do it one of two ways. You can open it up, rough it up and actually use the ferro striker directly in this set this in the fire and then cap it which might be the best way to do it um, and then there probably can just take remnants of the fire tender and place it in the fire similar to what i did the 550 cord all right you're going to want to do the same things with uh, as you did the 550 cord you're going to want to rough this up get some fuzzies out because that's what ignites from the spark so once you get this uh, fuzzies going we'll 
actually set this on fire and we can set it inside a fire to catch is the method I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and try it out. See if we can get this thing to ignite. All right, you see she's on fire. We'll set her in there. And you can put your uh, kindling over top. Once your fire is set, kind of get it going. Once the fire is lit on the fire, you can take the cap of the fire tender and boom, put it out. And it doesn't get really that hot at all, but got a nice fire going. So the fire tender works great. So we've reset the fire pit again. So we've made two successful fires. Now we got the live fire. So you slide this off, the same thing. You want to rough this up, get it something where the sparks will ignite. So we'll go ahead and rough that up real quick. Okay, it's all uh, roughed up. So we'll go ahead and put the spark to it and see if we can get a fire. And then we will uh, get to try something to eat. All right, we've got uh, on fire. So now we're gonna place it under our kindling, similar to what we did with the uh, fire tender. Now the fire tender with the Minotaur Trading Company, um, I like it that you can actually take it out of the tent, whereas this one would be difficult to get out of the tent. Okay, now we got it on fire. You can pull it out and just slide this back over to put it out. Now that we got our fire going, we are going to have a little bit of snack. So I'm going to boil some water um, over the fire real quick, and we're going to have some potatoes mashed instant. But nobody just likes potatoes. I mean, you get these in there, they're pretty good, but why not spice them up? Because if you're going to survive, you're going to survive in style. So we'll go ahead and get that water boiling and uh, mix these mashed potatoes up. Now we're going to open the mashed potatoes up and open the pouch I'm leave them dry for now we're gonna put that hot water in there in just a second but first i'm gonna add some rosemary let's see if i can get this to zoom properly rosemary garlic seasoning i'm just gonna add this dry real quick well it's still uh before i add the water oh nice oh that smells fantastic all right next I figured I like onions, so why not add a little bit of look at that logo? That's cool. Minced onion. So we're gonna open our pouch again, just using the dry. A little dab of minced onion in there. We're gonna shake it up. Get it ready for the water. Okay, we got our water boiled up. I got um, to go ahead and take this. I want to, like I said, I want to show you the tech spork without the 550 cord around it. This is really cool. It's got the holes where you actually can um, affix it to a piece of wood or a stick to make it a spear. And like I said, I used it to wrap it with the 550 fire cord. So I wanted to get this out so we could uh, stir our mashed potatoes up. And I tell you what, they smell fantastic. Now they got those extra um, seasonings in there. We're going to go ahead and add the hot water real quick, just four ounces. And then uh, give it a stir. Now I got it all mixed up. We're going to add a little butter powder. So this is the butter powder because who doesn't like butter on their mashed potatoes? Go ahead and open it up. Let's give her a nice buttered flavor. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna get them out on the uh, mess kit real quick. We'll give them a shot. Look at that. Got the mashed potatoes all out. Look at the seasonings in that. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Got the garlic rosemary or rosemary garlic seasoning with the minced onion and the butter powder. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's awesome. 
that, that, that just changes those ordinary mashed potatoes all together. It tastes like I'm at Thanksgiving dinner or something. That's really good. But we're going to take it up a notch even more. Because I've noticed this. we got this Parmesan cheese powder. So this may be MVP right here. Because it's already really good. I'm going to throw some Parmesan cheese powder on the top. Like so. Let's try it another bite. Got the ma mashed potatoes with the Parmesan cheese. Let's go. Yep, that's definitely MVP. That just took the mashed potatoes to a whole nother level with that cheese on top. Tell you what, these seasonings take something ordinary and make it extraordinary. That is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut down camp, get cleaned up, and we'll talk more in final thoughts. So final thoughts on the items I reviewed today. Man, they were awesome. Minotaur Trading Company's got some pretty cool stuff, especially survival. I've always known they got great rations, but their survival gear, awesome too. So we'll start off with my favorite item. Favorite item was the fire tender. Worked great, very versatile. You can take the tender right out of the can, put it in the fire, or just take the can itself, slide it in, start the fire, pull it back out, cap it, done. Worked great, really enjoyed it. Now the ring of fire worked great as well. I like the fact that they got the fire cord, 550 fire cord in there. You can use it for paracord use. It also has that inner core with the uh, fire starter. That's great. It'd be a good backup. I'd carry the fire tender on me, and then I'd have this uh, fire cord as a backup. You know, use it for other uses. Live fire worked great, but the tender itself uh, can't really be pulled out. So be good to slide in, catch the fire, and then pull it back out. Not bad. And then the ferro rod worked every time, no problem. Now we got the spork. The spork is awesome. Very durable. Eat, I ate with it no problem. Got the hole so I can actually tie it as a, a, a neck knife, or I can make a spear by tying it to a piece of wood or a stick. And then you got your knife, you got your bottle opener, uh, thumb rest in the back, whistle. It's the whole kit. This thing's definitely 10 out of 10. It's awesome. I love this sport. Then we got the mashed potatoes I made. Those mashed potatoes were awesome, and it's all due to the spices. Because normally you just eat the mashed potatoes, no, no seasoning, no nothing. Then you eat them, it's an MRE, no big deal. But now, if you can, why don't you get the spices? The spices worked awesome. They, they took normal mashed potatoes out of a pouch and made them like Thanksgiving dinner. Seasoned them just right. It was great. All links for all the items will down, be down below, and as well as the Minotaur Trading Company website. You need to go check them out. They have all kinds of rations, hand sanitizer. They have uh, survival items. Clearance items for other MRE components, single MRE components. I said the list goes on. A lot of great stuff. Please make sure you take the time to check them out. That's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.